Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We are about to go to work, so I figured I would do a get ready with me for work. So first things first, we have to wash our face. Um, I use this First Fit Nutrition Aloe Gel. I mix this and this cleansing lotion together first to clean my face. So let's do that really quickly. Okay, so after the cleansing lotion, I put on a facial toner. Now this is just what I take on trips. I just got it from TJ Maxx. I have um, this First Fit Nutrition, a toner from them that I use at home, but it kept exploding on me in my suitcase on trips and it's kind of expensive for toner. So I didn't want to keep wasting money like that on my <laughs> face wash stuff for work. So I was like, I'll just get this from I'll just get a cheap one so that if it explodes, it won't matter. All right, so we let that dry for a little bit and then I go in with this firming serum. Everything I have is from that First Fit Nutrition a couple, um, probably like almost two years ago, my face was breaking out so bad. So I started going to this um, girl to do facials. So she got me on this skincare, um, whatever you call it, routine. Okay, we let that sit in our face for a little bit too. And then we go in with the rejuvenation cream. Do the same thing. I just kind of pat it all over my face. And then when that is all settled in our face, we go in lastly with just some sunscreen. This is from Glow Skin Beauty. This kind is actually the wrong um, kind. I just reordered it and accidentally ordered the wrong one. Um, but it's still fine. The one I used to order um, was a little bit lighter than this one. It didn't actually feel like sunscreen was really nice this one feels a little bit more like oily like sunscreen even though it's oily free but it's okay okay I change the angle while I do my makeup so I can sit down but don't judge me well you can if you want to but I'm not a makeup person so if you're watching this and you're like girl stop then just know that I have never ever in my life known anything about makeup so some of the stuff in my bag I've been using since high school and college. So yep, we love that for me. Uh, anyways, I start off, I don't, I used to use foundation. I don't use foundation anymore. So I just start off with this um, glow skin powder that I just put on as a base. Um, a lot of you guys while I'm doing this have been asking me if I'm going to do another tight video <laughs> and I don't know. I'm kind of conflicted because I don't want my channel to be all about tights and I know that that is my like most watched video on my channel and if I knew it was going to blow up like that and then people would be asking me for a tight video every single day, I don't know if I would have done it. <laughs> Because I didn't, I don't want my channel to be about tights. That's not what it's about. Um, if I buy tights, I don't mind doing a review if I wear them. But I don't know. My channel is not about tights. Um, I don't know. I feel like there's so much more to this job than like tights. So it just kind of blows my mind that that's what people hyper focus on. But I mean, I understand why. You don't have to tell me why people do that. But yeah, I am. Um, so we'll see about the tights thing. I don't mind showing you guys my uniform, like that kind of stuff, but yeah, we'll see about the tights video. 
All right, after my powder, I just put on a little bit of blush. I have no idea where I got this from or when I probably, I think I got it from TJ Maxx, to be honest. And then my brush, all my brushes, my dog um, chewed the ends of them off <laughs> when he was a puppy. <laughs> so they're all a little bit chewed, but that's okay because they still work fine. So I put just a little bit on my cheeks and then just dab like a tiny little bit onto my nose. And that's it. Oops. All right, so then I go into my eyeshadow. I definitely just got this from TJ Maxx. Um, when I tell you I'm not a makeup person, I don't know anything about makeup, so I don't have any of those crazy like palettes or nothing like that. Um, so I'm gonna go in with the kind of white cream like color on the bottom. And then I'll go one of the like lighter pinkish colors on the top. Also, this is kind of a random fact, but um, when I was six years old, I was in a car wreck. I was on my way to, my mom was taking me to gymnastics and we went to a intersection. It was a two-way stop and we didn't have the stop sign, but the guy who did, it didn't stop at the stop sign and he T-boned our car. So I got a bunch of, I was sitting in the front seat and I got a bunch of glass in my eye when that happened. So I had to have eye surgery. So I have a synthetic lens in my um, right eye. So when I'm doing my makeup and have to close like my left eye, I can't see like anything. So that's why I don't wear a bunch of eyeliner and stuff because it's kind of hard for me to put it on because I literally can't see. Like when I put on eyeliner, I kind of have to keep this eye open a little bit so then it just looks all crazy. <laughs> so that's why I don't put that on a whole ton because it's hard for me to like see with my right eye by itself. Um, okay, then I'm gonna curl my lashes. Alright, so after I curl my lashes, I just go in with mascara. This is the final step. I have this um, L'Oreal Voluminous, and I actually have two tubes of it. One of them, this one is just black, and this one is like blackest black. This one is almost out, but I just kind of use it to get things started. And then I actually have this one too, um, Lush Paradise, that I'll go over the top with and then I have this old um brush I think it was the old Lash Paradise actually um that's dried out that I just used the brush to kind of like separate my lashes if they're kind of clumped together um but while I'm doing this a lot of you guys ask me about um pay for this job, which is really confusing. <laughs> so um, we have like a set hourly rate that we get paid for flying and depending on your seniority, it'll be higher or lower. Um, it goes up every year until you get to year 13 is our max out pay. So once you're at your 13th year of flying, um, the only way you'll make any more um, money is if the contract like comes up with a higher payout amount or like top pay amount. But other than that, you're just gonna be sitting at the same amount, I mean, for the same, or I'm sorry, same amount for the next, however long, much longer you're at this job, I guess. Um, even though the ones that have been here for like 45 years or the girl that I worked last year, 48, I'm sure that they've gotten lots of bonuses because I highly doubt it was where it was. Um, back then as it is now but maybe it was i don't know but so yeah we get an hourly um rate for flying and then we get per diem which starts as soon as our trip starts and runs throughout the whole trip 
Um, so if I'm on this three day, it starts when my sign in starts and then, or it may, I don't know if it starts when as soon as I sign in or what my original sign in was, but anyways, it starts through that and then it won't finish until I get back on that third day. So that's kind of their way of paying for like our food and drinks and stuff on layovers. Um, giving us that little bit of extra money every paycheck, but we get it every um, month. I just pay all of our per diem for the month prior on like in the middle of the next month. But um, our hourly flight rate starts when we close the door and basically when we push back from the gate. So the only pay we're getting for boarding is per diem. So anytime you are delayed, uh, well, some airlines have changed it. So I don't remember which ones have changed it and which ones you still don't get paid for. Um, but some airlines, if you're stuck on the plane, so like the other day, we had boarded everybody and then we're waiting on catering to come. We waited like 30 minutes with passengers on board and we weren't getting paid for that because the doors were open while we were waiting for catering. <laughs> So like that's an example, but someone asked me the other day if I was cordial to Clemson fans when I, um, <laughs> at work <laughs> and of course I am. I'm cordial to Clemson fans even when I'm not at work. Um, the only time I would even really talk trash a Clemson fan is for the Carolina Clemson game or anytime we play them or like on Twitter kind of thing, but I really don't even do that. Now in high school, I used to like, I don't know, Clemson used to drive me nuts. I couldn't stand like Clemson fans. I couldn't stand Clemson. And I had a lot of Clemson like friends because a lot of my friends from high school went to Clemson. But no, I'm, and like really the only people that I like tease about it now is like family members or close friends. But if someone comes on my airplane with a Clemson shirt on, like I probably won't say anything to them about it unless like we're talking about something else and then I'll just be like you're the enemy <laughs> or something like dumb <laughs> like that but I'm nice to any new sports fan or like any sports fan that comes on board I honestly like when people wear their team a lot of people do wear their like team stuff apparel when they come on planes I don't know why but when people travel they just like show support for their team I guess so obviously when anyone comes on with a game talk sure i'm like go cox but it's a good way to come like start a conversation like especially if i'm working first class and i'm trying to be more like personable i'll start asking them about like their team of the shirt they're wearing so i kind of like it when people wear their sports stuff no matter if it's clemson georgia gamecocks we'll start a conversation about it talk about their team people love to talk about their sports teams so it's easy way to start a conversation with a stranger on a plane. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, I'm nice to, I don't treat them any differently on the plane if they come on in a Clemson shirt or anything. I got my coffee, white chocolate. Double shot espresso. There's actually a Starbucks in this hotel, but I wasn't sure if there was gonna be one. So I actually brought this, I prepared, I was prepared and brought this from home. I actually was also thinking that my sign in today was gonna be a lot earlier. It's go home day, by the way. But I thought it was gonna be a lot earlier and it wasn't, it's not super early. So I don't know what trip I was looking at. And then this is the final look. Very basic, easy, light makeup. <laughs> I'll put lips, lip gloss on, um, but I still need to like brush my teeth and stuff. So we will do that after I eat some breakfast and brush my teeth. But my hair is probably just gonna stay like this cause I do three legs today and when it's down, it starts to get in my way. So I'm also going in and out of Florida today so it'll be hot so I'm just gonna put it up. But yeah, that is my get ready with me 
it's probably not as exciting as some of these other people that are like makeup enthusiasts that know how to do makeup. <laughs> but that's my version. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!